I make paintings that people perceive often as being very social or political, but for the most part, they're all very personal. Everything stems from my relationship to a situation, to a narrative, to a story. My name is Titus Kafar, and I'm an artist. I had one art history book that had a particular chapter in it that actually did focus on black people, people of color. These characters are often enslaved, in servitude, or impoverished. And so it drew me to wanting to understand how this all came about representing black people. What was their symbolic purpose in the paintings and in, in the sculptures that they were in? Because clearly it wasn't for them to be the primary character. I use a lot of different techniques in making paintings. Sometimes the surface of the canvas will be cut out, something will be removed from the surface of the canvas in order to show something behind. This theme or this idea of layers and multiplicity is a reoccurring theme in my work. There are always multiple narratives. I'm asking the viewer to try to piece that whole story together without leaving behind the valuable uh, narrative of, in many cases, those people who have been silenced over, over years. The Jerome Project is an investigation into the criminal justice system. I started this project because my father's name is Jerome and my father has uh, spent time in and out of prison and jail um, throughout my life. I googled my father and found um, his mugshot, which of course didn't surprise me, but I found 97 other men with exactly the same first and last name in all of their mugshots. And I began to paint those mugshots as these small devotional size, religious style paintings with gilded backgrounds. I then submerged those paintings into tanks of tar based on the amount of time that these folks had spent incarcerated. Currently I'm working on a body of work called Monumental Inversions. And Monumental Inversions is uh, a group of sculptures that kind of speak to this conversation that we're having in our national narrative about what to do with our national sculptures. So I began to, to make a body of work that I felt like could potentially amend some of the, the absences and challenges of our current sculpture. I think merging art and history can help to motivate social change. The Next Haven Project attempts to bring communities together. We have a fellowship program that invites artists who are coming out of the graduate programs to come and make a life for themselves in New Haven for the year that they are here to engage the community. They get professional artist development. It wasn't until I was in my mid-20s that I found art. I feel really strongly that if I can do anything to help other young folks who come from the kind of communities that I come from discover their passion, discover the thing that motivates them, I will be a happy man.